Lucas Balinget, Eric Lopez, Norma Gaspar, Felicissima Castro, Kelly Tupacio, Said Safo, Michael Melo, Carmen Pachi, Matthew Vacari, Perlina Quattrociucci, Dennis Mark Rogers, Norma and George Speecher, Teresa Oligario, Madeline Lee, Benan Fernandez, Pisa Jane Gabon, Benjamin DeMello Kearns, Sarah DeMello, Maria Lilia Atienza, Pacifico Trabado, Jr., Eris Magali, Santino DiVetto, Irma Verico, Isabel Martins, Aurelia Dilara, Olivia C., Jesse, Norma Watson, Chiara Pupo, Chelsea Dixon, Gabriel Ashari, Kiana Tran, Alex Tardisilla, Aurora Fortades, Michael A., Gloria Matias, Gina Balaton, Maria Morales, Agnes Vu, Luis Medeiros, Rolando Monacal, Ruth Padon, Feli Canlas, Peter Ganjaho, Lof, Andrew Muniz, Eduardo Morales, Mercedes, Mercedes Fagan, Jerry, for the intentions of Jerry Balanon, Eve, Evelyn Richard, Linda Halliburton, Benny Garces, Evelyn and Eugenio Cruz, all volunteers in the parish. For the soul of Alice Pereira, Ken Shiatilia, Mr. Artin Nathan, Diana Mori, John, and all souls in purgatory. Let us equally add our personal intentions in this Mass, asking God for his mercy and for his blessings in our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary by Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord. 
and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and the guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Judah and his brothers, the sons of Jacob, had been ordered into Joseph's presence. Judah stepped up to Joseph and said, O oh my Lord, let your servant please speak a word in my Lord's ears, and do not be angry with your servant, for you are like Pharaoh himself. My Lord asked his servants, saying, Have you a father or a brother? And we said to my Lord, We have a father, an old man, and a young brother, the child of his old age. His brother is dead. He alone is left of his mother's children, and his father loves him. Then you said to your servants, Bring him down to me, so that I may set my eyes on him. Unless your youngest brother comes down with you, you shall see my face no more. When we went back to your servant, my father, we told him the words of my Lord. And when our father said, go again, buy us a little food, we said, we cannot go down. Only if our youngest brother goes with us, will we go down. For we cannot see the man's face unless our youngest brother is with us. Then your servant, my father, said to us, You know that my wife bore me two sons. One left me, and I said, Surely he has been turned to pieces and I have never seen him since. If you take this one also from me and harm comes to him, you will bring down my gray hairs in sorrow to Seol. Then Joseph could no longer control himself before all those who stood by him, and he cried out, send everyone away from me so no one stayed with him when Joseph made himself known to his brothers. And he wept so loudly that the Egyptians heard it, and the household of Pharaoh heard it. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still alive? But his brothers could not answer him. So dismayed were they at his presence. Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come closer to me. And they came closer. He said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt. And now, do not be distressed or angry with yourselves, because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve life. The word of the Lord. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord. When the Lord summoned famine against the land and broke every staff of bread, he had sent a man ahead of them. Joseph, who was sold as a slave. Remember the marvels the, the Lord has done. His feet were hurt with fetters. His neck was put in a collar of iron. Until what he has said came to pass, the word of the Lord kept testing him. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house 
and ruler of all his possessions. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You received without payment, give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your, ba in your belt. No bag for your journey or two tunics, or sandals, or a staff, for laborers deserve their food. Whatever town or village you enter, find out who in it is worthy, and stay there until you leave. As you enter the house, greet it. If the, if the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet as you leave that house or town. Truly, I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. God is good all the time. Let your light shine. You are the light of the world. Light shine. The last verse of the first reading stated by Joseph. I am your brother, Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve your life. You know, I like this verse of Romans chapter 8, verse 28. It corresponds with the sentence today, which says, Everything work for good for those who love God. You see, everything, both bad and evil, for those who love God, to be for their good. That's why in my place we have a song that goes this way. I can see everything turning around, everything turning around, everything turning around for your good. I can see everything turning around, everything turning around, everything turning around for your good. That we see in the life of Joseph. However, we shall go back now and see what happened between Abraham. Sarah, Sarah Haggai, Haggai, and Ishmael. Ishmael. What, happened what happened there? Sarah told Abraham to send Haggai away. away. In our eyes, it, it was evil. It was not good to send a nursing mom away without any security for her. And Haggai, she wept, she wept, she cried, she cried. It was not nice for that to take place. A whole Abraham, Abraham sending, sending 
his own child away, Ishmael, with the mom. So in our eyes, this was not nice. Then we heard about the, the son of Abraham, Isaac, and also the grandchildren, Esau and Jacob. What happened between them? The blessing that Esau should have taken came to Jacob. And now Jacob has 12 children, 12 tribes of Israel, and it was bad for them to sow their brother. So what is important here is that Joseph was sold to an Ishmaelite, to the Ishmaelites. And who are they? Descendant of Ishmael, of Hagar. So they saved Joseph. You see? Hagar was thrown away before. But now look at the good. Look at the end of it. They saved Joseph. The Ishmaelites, who the brothers sold to them, and then they took him to Egypt. And that corresponds to what Joseph said here today. For God sent me before you to preserve you. Whatever you did, was for, the end was for good. So in our lives as Christians, most times, most times, we have problems, troubles, anxieties, sicknesses, different types of, you know, we can say, evil on our way. So, do we still have faith in God? Do we still trust God? So important to hold on to God, to trust in God, no matter what. No matter what. The last will be for our good. The last will be for our, at last. It shall be for our own good as long as we trust God, as long as we love God, as long as we persist. So important, so important to learn, to learn from, these stories, from these stories that are, are real, real, real life stories. Life stories. So in my life, in my too, life too, too, different things different in my life, my life they, they seem to be evil, but at last, at last, at last, at last they turn to be, they good. Turn to be good. They turn, they to, turn be to be very big, big thing, big, very big very testimony. testimony. So likewise also likewise in your lives. In your lives. So, we so we should keep on, you know, holding on. Being in that kingdom of Jesus today, as we heard in the gospel, proclaim the message of the kingdom, proclamation of that word of God, proclaiming Jesus Christ wherever we find ourselves so important, and then consequently, God's grace will come upon us. We heard about healing the sick, raising the dead. So these are consequences of that word of God, which we proclaim. And thirdly, we, it has to be done in a gratuitous way. I mean, freely, we have to give. And consequently, we have to welcome. We have to welcome those who preach the word of God, the last part of it. Because they have to carry the peace of Christ in our lives. So in this Mass, may God grant us His grace to be that Joseph. Because through him, the life of the family, their lives were spared. Because God walked through him and he trusted in God. So may God grant us to trust him more and more in our lives. That his goodness may follow us all the days of our life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for us. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in the service be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, who are good and good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify this gift, so Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so, it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts with prayer, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and the giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and the Francis our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Power and glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and they graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you shall enter on the matter. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all times giving, be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all times giving, be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all times giving, be every moment thine. Jesus, make an humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, on all their evil spirits, wander throughout the world. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we set up our sides. Morning at the Valley of Tears. Turn the most gracious advocate, the hours of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Thank you for coming and have a blessed day. Immaculate Mary, your presence we sing. Who reign in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave. Your glory proclaim on earth we your children invoke your fan.